Hello everybody, TikTok here. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Corsair H115i. It is an extreme 280 millimeter liquid CPU cooler, which I am going to be hooking this up to the 7700K and you can watch in a video coming up to see the performance of it and how well it does do. But anyhow, for right now we're just going to be going ahead and I'll unboxing this. I'll take a look at the box here real quick. Let's see what all's on it. Got that side. And then we got all the dimensions here. And uh, if you want to go ahead and pause the video, you can take a closer look. Let's see, got that side. What else we got left? One more side there. And I think that's all the sides. So let's go ahead and unbox this so if I can figure out how to get it open. There we go. Right, let's go ahead and open this up. See what all we got in here. Right. First thing we got some manuals. Got the H115i manual. And what's this one? A warranty card against defects. I sure hope there's no defects in this one. That would be disappointing. And warranty guide. Anyhow, enough of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we get in here. It's like the first thing we got is two 140 millimeter fans. Corsair fans feel nice and heavy, heavy duty. Feel like a pretty good quality. And they are PWM fans, four pin headers. So this does come with two of them. Right. Set that one off to the side. There's the other one. Set that one off to the side. And let's see what else. Now oh, you got the radiator and the block. Go ahead and take this plastic off. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right. Set it down gently. Here, this bag. Looks like we got all our mounting brackets. This looks to be the USB motherboard connector that connects into your motherboard and then this one actually goes into the head of the controller or the cooler. And we got our two mounting brackets. Take a look at those. What else is in here? And then we got like all the different screws that we're going to need to mount this to the motherboard. Let's see if there's anything else in this box. Right. So let's go ahead and get rid of that box. And let's take a closer look at the radiator here. Feels very heavy, heavy duty, well built. Frame's not uh, wobbly whatsoever. Well, this is the first time I will be using water cool. I've never done that before on any of my builds. This is going to be the first one. And we'll take a look at the block here itself. From what I understand, this lights up. You can pick different colors for that through the Corsair link. And then we have the connectors here. Looks like we got a SATA connector for power. And we got the splitters for your PWM's fans. So we got the splitter for the two fans. And then this one, I haven't read the, the manual yet, but I assume this is the one that goes to the motherboard, probably the CPU header on... Uh, 
your motherboard. You can see there's some pre-applied thermal paste already on there. And you have the Corsair logo on both sides of the radiator. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I am going to be hooking this up to uh, my new build, the 7700K. So just watch for updates in the thermal performance of how well this cooler does. And thanks for watching. Have yourself a good day.